Hey everybody, welcome back to VNJ Reviews. We are so glad to have you guys with us today for this episode. This is Vin. And this is Joe. On this one, we want to take a little bit of a closer look at, you guessed it, or maybe you didn't, Weiss and Beerus. We think that there's some important stuff that we're learning about these two and relationship to all the other universes that might make these two guys even better than you think they are. We want to share it with you after this. So as all of us know, there are, or at least there were, 12 universes uh, until some of them are now getting erased. And there were other universes before the universes that we're aware of at this point. And maybe the Dragon Ball universe or the Dragon Ball, you know, everything is bigger than the 12 universes that we even know about now. Hopefully. Maybe there's other things out there, you know, for later stuff down the line, like years from now. But from what we know right now, there's 12 of them. And each of the universes has their own god of destruction and their own angel who really comes alongside of the god of destruction to make sure that they keep everything in order uh, and, and yada, yada, yada. But it's interesting for us to consider, are there rankings to these gods of destruction and angels? And I know people have brought this up before, like who the strongest god of destruction is. Is Beerus stronger than Champa or is, you know, Belmont weaker than, you know, like people have been talking about this and, and Whis and Vados and who's stronger. But I honestly, I think, and especially with the last episode, we were given some pretty good information to me that makes me think that Whis if there is a tier of angels, and there, I think there is a tier. If there isn't, then it would be just mind-boggling to me. But that Weiss is in the upper echelon or the upper tiers of the angels, meaning he's at the top level of the angels, maybe the top three um, in ability, in knowledge, in foresight, in understanding, in comprehension. And I even think that Beerus is showing himself to be in the top tier just based off of the statements and their understandings of what's going on. And and we saw that in the fight in particular now as Goku is going Ultra Instinct, just some really interesting things that they're saying and that others are not and the insight they have on what's happening and really the complete lack of insight from other angels, which is kind of interesting. It makes me think that maybe Whis is at a higher tier than other angels. So I'm just going to start off with the angel from Universe 11, Margarita. Um, she, in this episode, was believing that Goku was finished, that he wasn't going to be able to continue or he was going to lose his fight as he, as he keeps on going on. And it's just strange to me because... It was pretty obvious that Goku is still learning Ultra Instinct, and she should have been paying attention, noticing that. I mean, Whis was noticing it, and he was being able to tell that, oh, he's figuring this out. He's getting almost there. He's um, about to perfect it. But it's just weird that she could be so far off. And we, we haven't really seen that of other angels because I think Vados is near Whis's level when it comes to intelligence, abilities, and everything else. And they, they try to be very similar to each other. So when we thought of angels, we thought that they just can tell things. They're very observant. But now it seems like, thanks to Margarita, we, we know that this isn't true. Some of them are not as intelligent or pay attention to things and figure them out because she should have noticed this and that's pretty cool to know that our uh universe seven angel is actually probably one of the better ones out there when it comes to these type of information and knowing what's going on and i know that some of you are probably thinking well they don't know about saiyans maybe or they they just don't know goku i think if let's say the roles were opposite and we didn't know anything about saiyans and this is the first time he's seen this i'm pretty sure he would have still been able to analyze this watch goku and know that the things were changing and he was going to become perfect it's just the way we is he didn't need to know who Goku was and what Saiyans were to figure that out. He was just that observant. And as Goku was finally reaching that mastered point of Ultra Instinct, where he actually mastered Ultra Instinct in its form, Whis knew it. 
he smirked. He was like, wait for it. It's coming. He he felt that it was the, he felt the energy sort of being worked. Like he was talking about the heat and everything and it's happening and, and the, the moves are happening. He sensed it. He knew, he foresaw it. He, and, and he had an ability to know Ultra Instinct was happening when other angels didn't. And in particular, Margarita, because even after this, as Goku was sort of down on the platform getting shot at, she's thinking, oh, he's going to fall off the platform. And and you know Whis is not even close to thinking this. So if they're both analyzing the fight at the same time, but with completely different perspectives and understandings of what's going on here, and Whis was proven absolutely correct. And not only that, but... All of the other things that Weiss has said that has shown just such insight into things. And and I know that he's obviously the Universe 7 angel, and so we're not going to see the insight from other angels out there. But whenever we do, or whenever we do get insight, I always feel like Weiss is just a, a, a little bit better. He's just got a little bit more knowledge, a little bit more understanding, and so that is a good thing. But I also think Beerus hits me as being at the top tier level of the gods of destruction and i know it's kind of hard to make a statement like that especially when it comes to the anime because all we really look at is the anime we don't look at the manga and we know it's different in the manga but in the anime there's not too much information out there but once again we see the reaction of of beerus like when you know Krillin and the other guys are all squabbling again about goku and what's going to happen and beerus is like guys just be quiet watch Watch what's about to happen. And it's almost like, I almost feel like Beerus sometimes is like a wacky character who just does things sometimes to be wacky. But when he wants to get serious and when he wants to say, hey, hey, quiet down, just watch what's going to happen here. Like he he legitimately knows what's going on. He also knows this is about to happen. And then contrast to Belmont on that as well. And that's, bing, and that's exactly where we're going. Contrast that with Belmont. Belmont is like clueless to this. He doesn't know that this is actually really happening. He can't sense it in the same way that Beerus can. Obviously, Belmont, we already know that he's lost to Jiren as far as his strength abilities go in the anime, guys. So we're, we're you know, there, it's becoming clearer and clearer that Whis and Beerus, to me, at, at least from what we know, are on the top tiers of their categories in in Angel and God of Destruction Power, especially considering that Universe 7 has one of the lowest mortal ratings. That even though the mortal rating of the universe is so low, the Angel and the God of Destruction are at the highest levels of the universes that are existing at this time. Which is interesting in of itself, and maybe there's a reason why the mortal rating is so low. Maybe it has something to do with the fact that that Beerus and Whis were so high, they just kind of disregarded the yeah. mortals. It could just be that they don't care. Or, it, more likely, it could be Shin's fault. I mean, he doesn't really even know what his uh, role is, I feel, sometimes. And he's not really the smartest guy when we're watching him, at least currently. So, it could be his fault as well, because he's in that role as um, supposed to be taking care of the whole universe. I could see, like, maybe Belmod going out and, like, you know training with mortals and spending time with them and like just because he's like i don't know I, I, I see, his mentality just seems like he's like that like he's not that much above them i mean he is a way above them of course he's a god of destruction i don't want to like talk him down too much here but i feel like beerus is just like you know these guys like whatever like i, he, I think he's at a different tier i just think he's at a different tier and and Weiss is too and it's probably gone to the detriment of of universe seven but but for science you know the saiyan <laughs> is is the linchpin in the whole thing you know the saiyan is the wild card in the whole thing and that's where this whole went back to beerus's dream when beerus was fighting uh, a super saiyan god and that was the whole deal like even though they probably lacked all of the gods including beerus and the kaioshin as well even though they lacked in training and helping out the mortals of Universe 7, but for Saiyans. Saiyans are sort of the enigma of the entire thing. And so he has this dream, and he says, there's a Super Saiyan God out there, let me fight this guy, you know? And now the entire universe of all the all the universes are starting to understand who Saiyans are. Um, but I thought it was interesting that 
that I feel, I believe truly that Weiss is in the highest levels of the angels, at least. And also Beerus is in the highest levels of, of the gods of destruction, which is a cool thing that Universe 7 has that. And now Universe 7 has, you know, Vegeta with his new blue form and Goku going Ultra Instinct. And so Universe 7 is like on the map, which could be a good thing when they pick up Super or whatever they might call it next, you know, next year. Now it's, I think you're going to start to see maybe a target on Universe 7 to a degree possibly like who are these guys and where did they come from you know almost like why are they at the top tier levels of things so possibly that could be something that might pop up or show up later on but we you know we figured we'd share this one with you guys what do you think about Weiss and Beerus do you feel like they're at the top tier levels too as well do you see any connection with the mortal rating of universe 7 the Kaioshins and how that's all working out and stuff do you see it the same in the comments we're seeing as well with with these guys and some of the un- other angels and gods of destruction so leave your comments below if you're feeling the same way we are obviously in the anime we just don't have that much information because we haven't seen too much yet um, hopefully as they pick things back up again with, with Dragon ball later in a year from now or so they'll dive into some of those things but we think that that's pretty solid that that's the case with Weiss and Beerus but what are your thoughts leave your comments below let us know what you're thinking about this of course if you have not subscribed to the channel up until this point but you like the content we deliver go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications and like the video as well we always enjoy having you guys here with us and uh, sticking with us on these things Uh, we'll of course check you guys out next time we hope you enjoyed this one this has been and this is Joe later guys